we can go from 20 to 20,000. And all of these sounds, vibrations, energy, it has a direct connection on your chakras. And if you can't detox yourself from anything that is weighing you down or holding you down, how do we as a person, as an individual, as a people, get somewhere or get ahead, as they would say. And not saying get ahead monetarily, because as I stated, the paper is always running from you as you chasing it. Sometimes if you just sit still, it'll come to you. I'm just saying. And I'm not saying that you have to sit still and it's gonna fall from the sky, but you don't have to chase it either. Like, I mean, think about it, because if, if, if you chase something all day that isn't catchable or attainable at that present moment, you're doing what? Wasting your time? And even when you watch the news, uh, things are always distracting you and it's always bad news. I mean, sometimes you just may need to take a break, shut down, shut down to have some peace so that you can be the man, black man, black woman, who is on a frequency of creativity versus a frequency of degeneration. Real talk, real talk. And you have all of these rap, mega rap stars, who talk all of this mad bullshit, okay? But they never tell you anything fucking good. Think about it. And most gangster rap, they tell you all about selling drugs, killing the motherfucker, about they rims, about they big mansion, and all of this big money. That's all they talk about. And you, with your silly self, continue to subscribe to that, not detoxing yourself of anything that they're saying. And while you are continuously listening to this, you put yourself in that world, and that world doesn't even exist. out of frequency, out of range, puts you out of touch with reality, so to say, wouldn't you think? And you wonder why we are in the condition that we in. This is Black History Month, Black people. I'm just doing some real talk, and I'm sorry if it offends you. If it offends you, well, I don't know what to tell you except for deal with it. Just deal with it. Because when you accept who you are, accept your own and be yourself. And I'm saying accept your own, meaning accept those that are in direct connection with you on your frequency, those who are of like-minded. That's all I'm saying. Those who are like-minded, those who share your frequency, those who share your vision, or someone who can complement your energy and you theirs. That's how you detox yourself. That's how you detox yourself. And you will find that you will become a more positive and a more creative being. But in the process of you becoming a more positive and creative being, you're gonna lose some people. Especially when you speak truth. I've lost family members for speaking truth, like straight up. But that's the way it is. And whatever I say, as a person, as a being, I stand by it. I stand by it, especially that if I'm speaking some black history or some type of truth. I'm standing on it and I don't care who like it. If you can't accept truth, you don't like yourself because you were created in truth. That's why a lie hurts so bad because we were created in truth. That's why a lie hurts so bad, because we were created in truth. That's just real talk. So detox yourself. Detox yourself. If you smoke cigarettes, I do from time to time. You see me smoke here on YouTube. Try detoxing that for a couple of days. Three days you have it lit.
Yeah. What you still look to take?